Good morning, afternoon and evening to all of you. Welcome back to Legendary. Today is a beautiful day, so Jasmine and I, we decided to go on a little bicycle tour. Of course, we'll take you along on another local Singapore food experience. We'll check out a new hawker today, which is located at the very east side of the country, close to Changi Airport. Hope you enjoy it, stay hungry. Cycling there on the PCN Park Connector was super fun as we both loved the green nature and the fresh breeze when riding the bike. We enjoyed some nice sceneries and even happened to see one of the famous otter families in Singapore. There are several famous otter families in Singapore, some of which are seen around Sentosa, Bishan or even Marina Bay area. Look at these cuties sunbathing and chilling their lives with no worries at all. Eat, sleep, repeat. And without further delay, let's get to it. Hi everyone, we are now at Changi Village Hawker Center. We are going to try some fried bihun, satay bihun, fritters and all sorts of food today. We are here right next to the Changi Ferry Terminal. Next door is the Little Island Brewery. It's my first time eating here at this hawker. We are very hungry, it's early in the morning and the shops are about to open. Let's go eat. The food center is pretty big. As it was still pretty early, a lot of shops were still closed, but at least the few stalls that we wanted to try were all open. Lucky us. The first dish we will eat today is the Ipo Hor Fun at the original Taste Ipo Hor Fun stall. The stall sells its plates for $3.50 to $5. Yams. The sauce slash gravy in which the noodles are soaked in was so rich and flavorful. So today we are first going to try the Ipu Ho Fun. One portion is with chicken chop. There is also an option with chicken chop which was actually really delicious too. And one is with shredded chicken and some uh, char siu I think and some mushrooms. The original dish includes some fried wonton, char siu, mushrooms, chicken and veggies. So let's try and see how this tastes. Mm. Yummy. Mm. What is this noodle called? Yeah, right? I would say this is rice yeah, noodles. Fun, sorry. Yeah, so it's hofen. Hofen noodle. And it's ipo hofen because as the name implies, it's originally from a town in Malaysia called Ipo. But they do it a bit differently because in Ipo, Ipo Ho Fun is usually in a, just a plain broth. But over here it's in a mushroom gravy. So, so normally, normally Ipo Ho Fun would be in a soup. Yep. Okay, but this is kind of a dry version, right? Yeah. So but they still call it Ipo Ho Fun. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's a style. Yeah. I would say it's because of the noodle, it's probably from Ipo. Okay. So it is rice noodle, but it's slightly narrower and it's actually quite silky. It's got a nice slurp to it. But it tastes really nice and has a nice um, spice if you add some chili to it. So the, the auntie will ask you, want some chili? And you just say yes and then it's got a nice uh, kick to it. If I look at it, with this dark gravy kind of sauce, um, it feels a little bit like this um, Lormi. 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 It feels a little bit like this Lormi that uh, they sell in Singapore as well, the very dark covered gravy uh, noodles. But of course not with uh, Ho Fun. I really like Ho Fun noodles actually. Mm -hmm. And yours has pieces of wonton? Mine has uh, char siu and it has mushroom. It has veggie. And it has some chicken. Because this is shredded chicken, uh, or this is chicken hofan, which they call the real ipo hofan in this in this store. Mm. I like the chicken chop. I mean, with the sauce, it's not as crispy anymore, but it's nice and salty. I like it. What about the chicken breast? Nice, um, good proteins. I feel like these noodles are very, very slurpable. So 
so easy to go into your mouth when you... It's because Ipo, Ipo Hoffman, the noodles are typically they're made with spring water of Ipo. Okay. Which gives it a springy texture. Yeah, super nice. I really like it. Mm. How much was this? 350. 350 per plate. Per plate. So this three and a half dollar plate is really worth it. Mm -hmm. uh, really yummy, tasty, and I would say good portion as well. Um, since I mentioned already, we are here ne right next to the Changi Ferry Terminal, where you can take a ferry to uh, Pulau Ubin. Yep. Right. It's a little island near near nearby. Uh, where you can take a nice uh, cycling day tour uh, and when coming back or before going there you can um, drop by this hawker at the uh, Changi Hawker Center it's called Changi Hawker Changi Food Village at uh, Changi Food Village and uh, enjoy a nice plate of um, Ipo Ho Fun anywhere you go for coffee shop uh, Hawker Center, Food Center, Food Village or whatever village you gotta have some sugar cane Nice and refreshing. It's almost a, a liter. I would say this is only 230. So 280, 280 for a large sugar cane. And they press it freshly right in front of you. So we're moving on to the second dish. We are trying the satay bihun from Hoguan store. Next up is a local hawker dish which is completely new to me because I had never tried it before. It's called satay bihun. I've never tried a satay bihun before in my life. Um, I can already smell the peanutty sauce of, you know, what you typically smell when you have uh, satay, the, the skewered meat, where you have the nice and grainy peanut sauce next to it for the dipping. And uh, this bihun is actually covered in such peanut smelling sauce. Uh, let's give it a try. Yeah, essentially, it's just the same dipping sauce as satay, but it's used to cook and cover together with the smoothie. Ooh, love it. So what have we got here? Some cuttlefish? Bean curd, slices of pork. Is this pork or is this liver? Liver. It looks pork like liver. liver. Yeah. And some vegetable. That's it. Let's dig in. Okay, let's try. What I love about this dish is that it comes out super hot and steamy when it's served to you. Okay, to be fair, generally I'm not a huge fan of meat and bihun kind of noodles. Um, so for me it's yeah, a bit dry. Okay, dry. I think you can use more gravy. I would say you could use more gravy. More gravy would be better. Okay. But even this gravy, I mean it's like this peanutty sauce gravy. Which I believe is nice for dipping in meats. For dipping in noodles, I would say, um, for those who like dry noodles type of um, dishes, like what, what, what can you uh, compare this with? No, it's like if you eat carbonara, yeah, or like these kind of saucy dry noodles. Uh, I would say it's similar, only that this is more of a even drier peanutary sauce. Um, as I said, I'm not a huge fan of this type of noodles, but uh, it's okay for those who like bihun or mitten noodles. That's the bean curd. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Bean curd tastes like nothing. <laughs> At least for me. Do you taste anything? It, this uh, is maybe not our favorite, but um, as I said, for others it might be nice. People who like liver, maybe they love this dish as well. We also are not a big fan of intestines, liver and all this, um, so thank you. So, we are going to try some Woon Woon Pek Bihun today, right? Because your store is very famous actually. Online we look for good food in this uh, Changi food village. This one pops up, you know? Yeah. You do good advertisement. <laughs> so this is a okay. signature. Okay. Let's try that then. With the crayfish, huh? yeah. Then we pick the ten dollar. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Next time we can request. 
Let's, let's just talk, you say. Uh, yeah. Okay. As mentioned, even though I'm not the biggest fan of bihun noodles in general, we were told that this Wun Wun Pek seafood bihun is supposed to be super yummy, so we gave it a try. Yeah. Alright, third dish that we're trying today is the Wun Wun Pek bihun. So we chose the um, we chose the version with the crayfish. Mm -hmm. You can see that they are very nicely prepared and half opened and quite big, I would say. Uh, looking juicy and nice. So, what do you think of the visuals of this of this plate? It's nice. Got a bit of everything: some pork lard, some crunchy pork lard, some cabbage. And the broth looks good. Looks quick. Let's give it a try. Let's try the broth first. We've also got some clams in here. Mmm, looks like a very seafoody kind of broth. Yeah, it's probably thick as well. Mm. It's a very interesting combination of fresh, savory seafood broth yeah. with Wok hei. Wok hei is smoky, I would smoky say. Smoky seafood um, kind of broth. Yeah. And not too fishy, but you can like umami. Okay, let's try the noodles. Yeah. Again, bihun, but uh, this time very different. Hot, hot. Mm. They have a wok hei taste, huh? Yeah, it's a good wow, wow. smokiness to it for the broth, right? It's nice. I really like it. How come they have such a wok hei taste in the bihun? In the, in the, in the broth? broth? Because they, they cooked it in a really high heat in the wok itself. Wow. That's how they... They get this taste. Get huh? this smokiness. Smokiness, yeah. Yummy. This is really good. I like it. Mm. So, there were different versions. One was with some uh, sliced fish, one was with some uh, shrimps or prawns, and um, this version is with crayfish. So, each uh, comes with a certain price tag. This was a $10. Uh, plate. I would say with the amount of seafood that's in here, it's pretty re uh, reasonable and affordable. Mm -hmm. uh, perfect for, for sharing for two people. Perfect for sharing for two and uh, for everyone who, who likes seafood, basically. Mm. I really can't get over the okay. wok hei taste. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Mm. Yeah, and it's pork lard. You can dip it with some chili sauce. Oily, greasy, nice. salty. Pork lard. Yeah. Mm. Let's try the, the crayfish. And honestly, being cut into half, it's so much more easier, right? Easy to eat. You just use your chopstick, hook it the right, hook it at the start of the meat, and then pull it out gently. There you go. Is crayfish lobster? Um, no. It mm. looks like a mini lobster. It's tender. It's juicy, it's tender, it's fresh. Fresh. Oh. I say it's good. This, this plate is amazing. Savory umami seafood goodness. Wow. Mm -hmm. As everyone knows, there's always room for dessert. So we went for some freshly fried assortments at Million Star Fried Banana. Dessert. So we are at uh, our last meal for this tour. Um, Jasmine has ordered a lot of fried fritters. Fried fritters. Um, Not the healthiest dessert, but it is fruits, right? Just fried fruits essentially. <laughs> so, 
So we have fried sweet potatoes over here. It's fried sweet potato? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fried bananas and fried chumpada, which is jackfruit. Fried jackfruit. Fried banana. And over here we have something called fried niangao, which is essentially a fried, a deep fried sticky rice cake. Sticky rice cake? Yeah. Interesting. So dig in. Sweet potato. No, that's not sweet potato. This is sweet potato. Oh, what is this? Fried niangao. Fried niangao? Sticky rice cake. It's made of um, rice flour and brown sugar. Let's go for the fried banana. This. Let's try. The batter looks really crispy. Cheers. Perfect. Mmm. It's super crispy and the banana is extremely sweet. The banana is very sweet. And I would and say the batter is not very thick and um, it's not too thick. No, I would say it's light and airy. Light, airy and crispy. Yeah. The banana is they use ripe banana, so it makes it really sweet. Mm. When I saw this earlier, I thought I could maximum eat half of it. But now that I'm eating one, I think I can finish one. Time to try the sweet potato. And I will try the jackfruit. Cheers. Mm. Mm. So crunchy. Oh, it's pretty good. The jackfruit is amazing. Sweet potato also very good actually. Wow, I didn't think that the, the store will be so good. It's just fried stuff, but oh, it's, it's really nice. Mm. Mm. I'm allergic to jackfruit, that's why I'm not taking the jackfruit. And last but not least, Niengao, deep fried. A slice of sweet potato on the top and in the middle it's the sticky rice cake and on the bottom it's a slice of yam deep fried together in a nice airy batter. It's a perfect way to end a meal I would say. I would say my perfect way to end a meal would be a nap. <laughs> so I think for the first time coming to Changi Village Food Center or Hokka, I think what I recommend the most would be the uh, Wun Wun Pek Bihun because I really really enjoyed the wok hei taste of the Bihun and the broth in the seafood broth. After that also the Ipu Ho Fun is really really nice with the slurpable noodles and as a dessert if you like fried food uh, the, the fried banana the fried sweet potato and um, she says the fried jackfruit are really recommendable as well yeah. what do you think of today it's good perfect way to just unwind after cycling 20 kilometers oh yeah it took us about one and a half hours to cycle here to this place um, nice exercise and on a Sunday morning I think we would come back thanks for watching and I would say see you next time bye